Hello everybody, this is Nanduram and we are from Sonu Academy. Today we are going to explain about Environmental Studies Class 4 CBSE Syllabus. Today's our topic is From the Window. In this lesson, we are going to discuss about Omna, how she spent his time while journey in the train. He says that, it morning now, last night I went to sleep early. It was too dark to see anything outside. When the train stopped early this morning, I woke up. It was mad gone. That was written on the board at the platform. Appa said that we are going through the state of Goa. We got off the station and had some hot tea and filled our water bottles. The train started again. I find it difficult to describe the scene outside. It is so beautiful. It is green everywhere, fields with red soil and green crops and hills are covered with trees. Sometimes I can see small ponds and far away behind the hills more water. I can't make out if it is a river or the sea. The air is cooler and not so dry as in Ahmedabad. Now our train passed a lever crossing. The people are waiting on both sides of the crossing for the train to pass. There are buses full of people, cars, trucks, auto rickshaws, cycles, motorcycles, scooters and even tangas and bullock carts with people and goods in them. Some people do not switch off the engines of their vehicles even while waiting there. There is a lot of smoke and noise. I see some people going under the bars of the level crossing. How danger it is at that time our train crosses another train also. Unni and I try to count the carriages in one such train. But both the trains were going so fast. We always got confused. Now I was sitting near the window with my eyes closed. Suddenly I found a sound the train was moving changed that it is produced a different type of sound could 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 i opened my eyes i guess what i saw our train crosses a very big river on a very long bridge as it was crossing the bridge it sounds very different the wheels rattled as there was no ground only the tracks and the water down below when i first looked down i felt giddy it was really quite scary the river down below was fully of water and I had some boats. I could also see some fishermen on the banks. I waved at them but I did not know if they could see me. Alongside our bridge there was an another bridge of buses and cars. This was built different from ours. I think of going over our bridge was more adventurous. The last few hours I have been so excited while in I am train journey. After the breakfast, I climbed on the upper berth to read my comics. It was bright and sunny outside. Suddenly, everything became dark. It also felt a little cold inside. I was afraid. Then the light in the train came on. I started immediately looking outside. It was very dark. Somebody said, we have entered a tunnel. This goes right through the mountain. The tunnel seems to go on and on. And then just suddenly we were in daylight again. Outside it was sunny, bright and green. The train had crossed the tunnel now. Appa explained that we were on the other side of the mountain. Since then we have passed through four smaller tunnels. Now I am enjoying going through the tunnels. Imagine children, if on the way there had been no tunnels and bridges, how would Omna's train have been crossed the mountains and rivers? Now, it is afternoon for Omna's journey. For lunch, we had Idli Vada that we brought from Udupi station. We also brought some bananas. They were very small and very tasty. The scenes outside has changed again. Now we can see many coconut trees and green fields everywhere. Amma says that these are paddy fields. The houses and villages look very different. People clothes are also different from what we see in Ahmedabad. Most people are wearing white or cream color 
dhotis and saris many people who were with us from ahmedabad have got off people have also got on the train from different stations beside ours sunil family is sitting sunil family is getting off at kosi court which comes at around 6 o'clock we have exchanged addresses and plan to meet in ahmedabad so you will also like sunil and anna on the way from gujarat to kerala omna's journey went through several stations of our country just we find a list of states it crossed we have also started packing up the train will reach kottayam in a boat 3 hours there is where we have to get off tonight we will go to williamma's house tomorrow we will take bus that will take to our amamma's village we all are quite and tired after all we have been on the train for 2 days what a long journey it has been we had a lot of fun but i will put my diary away now i will write again after we reach amamma's house like this some of the journey's feelings homna wrote in his diary thank you this is nanduram and we are from sonu academy